the ninth edition of the India's top flight football league is now up and running. After a couple of game weeks in the 2023 Indian Super League, the action now shift to game week 3 that will see a lot of high stakes clashes. On October 20, North East United FC will host East Bengal at the Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium in Guwahati for the first time in the ISL 2023. It will be a clash between the bottom two sides of the table who is hopeful of a turnaround in their fortunes. Let us take a look at what the game has to offer. The stakes, North East United FC. The Highlanders have got off to a forgetful clash and are yet to add a point to their tally and even score a goal in the 2023 season. They began their season with an unlucky defeat to Bangalore FC where the referee deprived them of a goal and a point. In the last game, they were completely outplayed by the defending champions Hyderabad FC, despite registering some good display for some parts of the game. Well, the good news for the Highlanders is that head coach Marco Balbul will be back at the sidelines for his must-win clash. The stakes is Bengal FC. Things aren't very proud with East Bengal either. They have displayed good football but small moments of brilliances from their opponents took the game away from them, especially in the second fixture. They began their season with a 3-1 defeat to Kerala Blasters in Kochi. Stephen Constantine's side were then handed their second defeat of the season in the hands of FC Goa with an injury time winner. They have scored two goals and conceded five, and just like North East United FC, they are yet to get a point. Team news: North East United FC will miss out on the services of Robert Lakra due to an injury, while Alex Lima and Leandro are unfit for East Bengal. Head to head, both teams have faced each other four times in the ISL. North East United FC have won three games, while the reserve fixture of last season ended in a draw. This could be the probable lineup of North East United FC. And this could be the probable lineup of East Bengal FC. Players to watch John Gastanaga from North East United FC. The Spaniard has become an ever-present figure in the Northeast midfield. He has got that intent, skill and technique to execute his plans to perfection. John is a versatile player and can adjust himself according to the needs of his team. He maintains a good balance of attack and defense in Northeast approach towards a game. Clayton Silva from East Bengal FC Clayton is Stephen Constantine's most trusted lieutenant when it comes to scoring goals, Silva opened his account in the last game with a spot kick and will be raring to add a few more to his tally. He is one of the most experienced personnel in the team and is therefore the leader of the East Bengal forward line. Moreover, the Brazilian's exploits from last season will urge the North East defense to keep a check on him. Now it's time for some facts. North East United FC are undefeated against East Bengal in the ISL ever since their debut. North East United FC have scored 7 goals in the 4 matches against East Bengal, while the Red and Golds have scored only 2. VP Sohar, while at North East United FC, had 3 goals contribution in 4 games against his current team. Venue and Timing The match between North East United FC and East Bengal will take place at the Indira Gandhi Athletic Stadium in Guwahati on 20th of October. The kickoff time is at 7.30 pm according to Indian Standard Time. Telecast The match will be telecasted live on the Star Sports Network, Disney plus Hotstar and Jio TV. And it will also be streamed on the Indian Sports News on YouTube. What do you think? Who is going to win this match? North East United FC or East Bengal FC? Comment on your answer in the comment box. So that is it for today, hope you like the video, subscribe our channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to press the bell icon so you may never miss any update and also don't forget to like, share and comment.